Mother Earth, home to many mysteries, myths, and tales, and the people that had them all spread like wildfire. Today we will discuss the history of one of these mysteries, one that appears in series, documentaries, anime, and even films. Um, I'm thinking of ghosts. Let us first look into the definition, what, are they? In folklore and mythology, a ghost is the soul, or spirit, of a dead person or animal that can appear to the living. Descriptions of ghosts vary widely, from an invisible presence, to translucent or barely visible, to realistic, lifelike visions. Ghosts are generally described as, solitary, human-like essences that haunt, particular locations, objects, or people they were associated with, in life. Because of this belief, and the belief of the afterlife, certain religious practices, such as funeral rites, exorcisms, and some practices of spiritualism and ritual magic are specifically designed to rest the spirits of the dead. Another widespread belief concerning ghosts, is that they are composed of a misty, airy, or subtle material. Anthropologists link this idea to early beliefs that ghosts, were the person, within the person, in other words, the person's spirit. The belief in the existence of an afterlife, as well as manifestations of the spirits of the dead dates back to animism, or ancestral worship, and, pre-educated cultures. With that being said, it is understandable, why the conceptions are numerous and as widespread as mentioned before. For example, there are many references to ghosts in Mesopotamian religions, which are the religions of Sumer, Babylon, Assyria, and other early states in Mesopotamia. Traces of these beliefs survive in the later Abrahamic religions, that came to dominate the region. Ghosts were thought to be created at the time of death, taking on the memory and personality of the dead person. Traveled to the netherworld, where they were assigned a position, and led an existence similar in some ways to that of the living. Relatives of the dead, were expected to make offerings of food and drink to the dead, to ease their conditions. If they did not, the ghosts could inflict misfortune and illness on the living. For the example of the Middle Ages, ghosts reported in medieval Europe tended to fall into two categories, the souls of the dead, or demons. Souls of the dead returned for a specific purpose. Demonic ghosts were those which existed only to torment or tempt the living. Living could tell them apart by demanding their purpose in the name of Jesus Christ. The soul of a dead person would divulge their mission, while a demonic ghost would be banished at the sound of the holy name. Most ghosts were souls assigned to purgatory, condemned for a specific period to atone for their transgressions in life. Their penance was generally related to their sin. For example, the ghost of a man who had been abusive to his servants was condemned to tear off and swallow bits of his own tongue. The ghost of another man, who had neglected to leave his cloak to the poor, was condemned to wear the cloak, now heavy as a church tap. These ghosts appeared to the living to ask for prayers to end their suffering. Other dead souls returned to urge the living, to confess their sins before their own deaths. Having these expressed, you can learn much more about the mysteries of ghosts, in the provided links below.